Amen. Good evening, everyone. Hi. Welcome to a hopeful WFFA Feast at Home. With our midweek break, where love connects. My name is Abby De Guzman, and I'm from the Couples Ministry. I will be your host tonight. Guys, please let us know where you are now. So, um, if you're traveling, kung nasa bahay kayo, nasa kayo ngayon, please do type down uh, to sa chat box natin para naman makamusta namin kayo. And if you are with somebody else, ayan, itype nyo rin yung name para naman mahay natin sila. Welcome, welcome. I believe that Feast at Home is being joined by people from all over the world. So, baka meron tayo mga friends and family from different regions or even other countries. Nako, hello, hello po sa inyo lahat. Good evening. Sister uh, Amy Castillo, hello po. Nasaan kayo ngayon? Kasi ako ay po in Laguna right now. So, nasaan po kayo? Pakitype na rin kung nasaan kayo para baka musta natin na kayo at saka yung mga kasama nyo dyan. If you just tuned in, don't forget to like and share this page eh, or this video and tag more people so that marami po marami, marami po tayong mga mabless na mga tao. Good evening everyone. Hi Sister Lyra, how are you? We're actually currently streamed uh, on Facebook and on YouTube. So, yeah. Sa pakisabi naman po, ayan. Watching from Sampanok, Manila, si Sister Day. And of course, si, ayan. All the way from Las Piñas, si Phil naman. Hello, Phil. Good evening. Ayan, sa mga first timer, is, if this is the first time that you'll join uh, this uh, episode or this, this fam family, let us know and comment down below first time here. Mamaya meron tayong mga welcome party para sa mga first timers. Yung ating uh, link will be posted in the comment section. So, hi first timers. Watching from Mantenlupa si Sister Amy. Hello Sister Amy. Alright. So, mamaya after ng welcome party nyo, meron din tayong party. Tayo, tayo as a community. We will be having the after party with our builder or yun. Ayan, Brother Oyin uh, Isidoro. So, yan. Punta kayo mamaya pagkatapos ng WFAA Peace at Home. Right after that, meron tayong party party. <laughs> so, excited ako dyan. So, yung link natin, mapapost din yan dun sa uh, comment section. So, watch out. So, see you later, ha? Pero, alam nyo, um, ang dami natin, uh, pina, ang dami kong kinakamusta, no? Pero, kamusta yun naman natin yung mga sarili natin. Actually, alam ko ngayong pandemic, marami, marami naging effect ang pandemic sa atin, tama? Marami sa atin na wala ng trabaho, o di kaya pwede, pwede rin na-apekto, nagkalayo yung mga pamilya and all. Tapos, um, at the same time, marami rin sa atin yung nalulungkot kasi nagbawas yung mga, yung kanilang, you know, yung income and all. Di ba kasi uh, maraming people, they waste their time thinking that, um, I'll be happy pag marami akong pera, pag masaya akong, mas masaya, parang mas masaya pag maraming pera. So, I'd like to ask na, kasi diba, sabi nila, hindi naman talaga money ang nagpapasaya sa tao. So, meron, kung meron kayong joy na non-material, yung pinagkukuhanan nyo ngayon, lalo ngayong pandemic, ano yun? Ano po yung, um, yung uh, at least that non-material thing that sparks joy to you ngayong pandemic? Kasi syempre, uh, hindi naman lahat may enjoy with money. Ano kaya yon brothers and sisters? Ano yung um, non-material thing that sparks joy to you? So ako, quality time with family is actually non-tangible, diba? Pero maga, hindi rin siya nabibili. And it sparks joy for me. So I'd like to ask you, brothers and sisters, baka meron kayong mga gano'n. Ayan. Free time and rest. Oo nga, tama ka. Yeah yung rest ngayon, sobrang mahalaga. Lalo na yung mga, akala ko dati pag work from home, ano eh, um, okay, ayan, good health. Pero di ba pagka marami kang busy time, malaking bagay talaga yung may rest. Tama po yung good health. To bless people in need, sabi nga na Sister Josie ngayon. Ay, Tita Joy! <laughs> Tita Joy! Hello, Tita Joy! Oo! Malaking bagay yung nagpapaspark ng joy sa atin. And tama ka dyan. Hello po! Ayan! So, ang dami no, ang dami mga material things na dapat lang natin ma-appreciate. So, ayan. So, apart from that, meron tayong mga iba't ibang mga pwede nang pagkuhanan ng joy. Katulad ng mga pinatawag natin yung mga life groups sa community. Kasi di ba quality time and spend time. So, stay connected and join life groups. Actually, yung mga 
uh, life groups na yan, yung time natin dyan can spark joy for you also. So, flash on the screen are the light group heads. Meron tayo for singles, couples, independent men and women. Meron din tayo yan. yan. So, meron tayong mga iba-ibang mga schedules, iba-ibang mga tao na pwede natin pagkuhanan din ng joy. Nakuhanan yung joy yung mga iba kasi yung feeling na nasa community. Alright? So, we're also inviting you um, to serve. Kasi isa rin yan sa pwede pagkuhanan ng joy, yung pagsaserve natin kay Lord. Ako as a servant, it really sparks me joy. Parang to, ano, to, to bless people, katulad na sinabi ni Tita Joy kanina. Yan, we have a call for servants. Opportunity nyo na ito para mag-spend ng joy, mag-spread mag, mag ng joy sa iba't ibang tao. So we're calling out for the media ministry. So we have copywriters, creative writers, editors, social media content creators, web administra administrators and developers, graphic artists, and video editors. Ayan, meron din tayong need for care. We are calling on for Prayer intercessors, send off ministry, ministers, servants care ministers. Ayan. And of course, yan, so money is not everything, pero malaki ang magagawa ng money, yung extra ninyo. Just join the IG club, yung extra thousand pesos niyo can actually help a lot. So, ayan, you can join Caritas Pilar. So, we also have the creatives, creatives Pilar. So, creatives, nandito yung mga technical ministry assistants, script writers, online engagers, ayan, and readers, virtual coordinators, PA, researchers, and creative thinkers. Ang daming mga pwede yung pagbigyan ng talents ninyo. So, I really, I highly suggest na mag-join kayo ng mga, ayan, uh, mga ministries na yan. So, nasabi ko na lahat, and again, let's add more joy to our hearts. Let us worship the Lord, and this time, this worship will be led by our dear brother, uh, Ian Aguirre. Join us together, WFFA community, for our feast worship. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Feast at Home. We want to thank all of those who are joining us today through all of our live streaming platforms, and as well as those who are watching for the very first time. We are very grateful and we are excited for what's in store for all of you today. But before we start with our worship, let me just ask you one quick question. Don't you just love going to the beach? You know, I personally love how everything transpires, especially during the sunset. You know, a combination of the sound of the crashing waves, with the colors of bright yellow and orange and how the sun touches the horizon. It's just beautiful. And you know what, brothers and sisters, whenever I see that, it, it just makes me feel as if I'm feeling God firsthand. His power, His creativity, His greatness. And you know what, brothers and sisters, God's love is also like the waves on the beach. It's refreshing, it renews us, and it washes us clean. Even though sometimes that the water might be too deep for us, the water of problems, the water of doubt, the water of shame, but God will keep us afloat. He will keep us above the water. So let's all open our hearts and be in an atmosphere of worship as we experience God's love firsthand. Let us raise our hands, let us sing together, let us rejoice and worship our King. When I thought I was drowning in the searching sea, you keep me floating. When I thought I was losing to this raging storm, you keep me trusting Keep my head above the waters I am safe in your love oh, oh. Still the waves and 
keep us afloat. We sing this together. Keep my head above the waters. I am safe in your love. So the waves and calm the winds. You're my hope. You're my savior. Keep my head. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing is impossible with God. Amen? You know, even if God is already the most powerful, He is still extremely generous. You know, He always has something up His sleeve. He's always filled with surprises. And He wants us to share in His love. And you know what, brothers and sisters, the greatest outpour of His love was Jesus Christ, His Son on the cross, dying for you and me. There's nothing more to do. There's nothing more to say than a very big thank you. And that's what we're going to do today. And so today, brothers and sisters, let's open our hearts. Let's accept His love. As we pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for giving me this life. Thank you for allowing me to stand here in front of you with my arms wide open, just ready to thank you with all of my heart. Lord, we just want to thank you as well for the struggles, for the shame, for the guilt, for the mistakes. We thank you for the lessons that they have given. Again, Lord God, we just want to thank you. And today we open our hearts to you. We open our minds to you. We give you our souls and our everything as a sign of our gratefulness to you. We will forever love you. We will forever be grateful for what you've given us. And today, Lord God, with arms wide open, with hearts open, we sing this song to you. It's a song of our gratitude for all of the love you have given. Grace that flows like a
you for this life. We thank you for the love. We thank you for the sacrifices. We thank you for your calling in our lives. We use this song as a declaration, Lord God. We give you our all. We love you very, very much. We sing this to you. Good day everyone and welcome once again to your midweek break. This is WFFA and I am Brother Oying Isidoro, your feast builder, or should I say the main preacher here in WFFA. Now before we continue, I would like to encourage everyone, please do like and share our stream. And after liking and sharing the stream, please comment below at least five names of your friends. Ayan. Why, why at least five? Because we believe that we consist of the five people that surrounds us. And ito yung mga taong na i natin at nakaka influential din sa atin. So please do tag all your friends if you believe that they will be blessed with what they're going to hear for tonight. Ayan. So please go ahead. Ayan. Ang dami nagtatag. Ayan. Nakikita ko. Oh. Thank you. Thank you for tagging all your friends. I already tagged mine. Siguro nakita nyo kanina. They are my friends way back when I was still in the youth ministry. So I want them to hear this because I know the Lord will speak to all of them. Ayan. So good evening, good evening to, to all of you. Now, before we start, we always have what we call our, our engagement question. So for tonight, simply lang ang tanong. No? Ngayong magla-lockdown na naman tayo or what we call ECQ 3.0, Diba? Balik na naman. Ano ang mga plano ninyo? Most of us, diba, 
nagbago na yung routine natin eh, nung unti-unti na tayo nakakalabas. Some of us were able to do exercises at home, nakakapag-walking na tayo, yung iba nakakapag-biking pa, di ba? And then all of a sudden, we go back to to being at home. So, ano ang mga plano ninyo? Sige, feel free to comment it below and I will love to read them to see ano ba mga na iniisip ng mga kasama ko dito sa WFFA. So, while you're typing, let me be the first to answer na habang nagta-type kayo. Ako, simple lang naman ang plano ko na yung balik na naman tayo sa ECQ, no? I just want to get back to my reading makapagbasa ng mas mahaba, marami kong gustong basahin, and I want to to quiet down. Ayan. Spend more time reading books. Sige po, kayo naman, tignan natin. Ayan, si Sister Lisel Lampa, mag-general cleaning daw siya. Yun, sige. Siguro yung iba ganun din, ano? Take this time to clean the house. Si Janice, ganun pa rin. Work, work, work. Sige. Basa pa tayo. Sino pa? Si Lyra. Magbalik sa Sai Aw! With Sister Jocelyn Cancio. So, magsusumba na daw po siya uli ngayong ECQ. Pwede mong ituloy yan kahit tapos na ang ECQ. Okay? Meditation for Sister Dem. Sige, sino pa? Tignan natin. Ayan. Tigilan na ang pagbili sa Lazada. Sabi ni Brother Michael Sanchez. Ayan. So, Hinay-hinay muna sa add to cart, di ba? Add to cart na eh. No? Kay Sister Helen, spend more time for reflection. Katulad nung sagot ni Sister Dem, meditation, reflection. It's a good time for us no? to pinabagal yung mundo mo. So take time to really reflect and slow down. No, habang nasa bahay ka, hindi naman kailangang laging magmadali. Kay France, aral muna. Good job, friends. Aral. Sige, good yan. Good yan. Okay. Brother Ton Beredo, gusto po niyang matutong magluto. Pareho tayo, bro. Siguro, isa din yan sa mga pwede kong projectin ngayong ECQ, matutong magluto. Magaling lang ako kumain eh. Pero hindi ako marunong masyado magluto. Okay. Ariel naman, home workout since close po ang gym. Yes. Oo nga, ano, close na naman sila, so balik sa bahay. Pero it doesn't mean that if we cannot go out, our lives will stop. So tuloy po ang ating pag-e-exercise. Ayan. Si Donna, take an online course po. Ayan. Invest sa learning. Tama. Because we believe that learning is the new currency. No? So kailangan mag-invest tayo sa ating karunungan. Sige, basa pa tayo ng mga tatlo pa. Mag-experiment ng pang-diet na food para sa boss ko. Sabi ni Jenny May. Sige, Jenny May, sana yung boss mo pumayat na sila sa gagawin mong experiment ng mga diet food. Okay, next. Basa pa tayo. Tatlo pa po. Last three. Sige, meron pa ba? Si Ate May. Zumba din daw with Tita Joy. Okay, very good. Samahan mo sila eh. No, tuloy-tuloy nyo na ha. Even after the ECQ, ituloy nyo na yan. Okay, Sister Chat, work, cook, sleep, at uninstall Shopee at Lazada apps. Siguro yung last yung pinakamaganda eh, no? Uninstall yung Lazada apps. No? Tsaka yung Shopee. Para talagang mapalayo tayo sa tukso. Yun nga yung sabi niya habang nasa house lang. Next, siguro ito na yung last, more time to read the Bible. Thank you, Sister Antoinette, for that. No? Talagang more time to read the Bible. Nasa bahay lang naman tayo, hindi tayo nakakalabas. So it's, it's nice that you find time to read the Bible more. As we continue with our series, di ba? So, mabasa ninyo yung mga pinag-usapan natin dati, maganda yon. Or, you do your advanced reading para pag tumuloy tayo, nabasa nyo na. So, whatever plans you have, I pray that the Lord bless all these plans and you be able to execute them well and good. So, as we continue, let's all pray our favorite prayer here at the feast. All together, in the, the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. 
Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus every day. Today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's honor the word of God. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Our one big message for today is, don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Get what grace delivers. Naranasan nyo na ba sa Christmas party ninyo na unang nabunot yung pangalan mo? Tapos nung nabunot yung pangalan mo, alam mo na hindi ka na pwedeng makasama sa grand prize or sa major raffle. Kasi nga, nabunot ka na eh. Di ba ganun yun? Process of elimination. Pag nauna ka, tanggal ka na. Naalala ko nga dati, ang biroan namin, pag una aming nabubunot, pwede bang pass na lang, balik na lang yung pangalan namin, ayaw muna namin ng gift na yan. Pero wala kang choice eh. So imagine this, you are at work, sabihin na nating hindi pandemic at nasa trabaho kayo, tapos, Nabunot yung pangalan mo sa minor price. Isa ka sa mga una, sabihin natin mga pang-apat. No? Pagkakuha, nakita mo ang premyo, t-shirt. Okay, excited ka. Nilad, niladlad pa nung host yung napanalunan mo. And, Oying Isidoro won a brand new Boracay shirt. Kasha siguro sa kanya to. Diba gano'n yung aakit ka pa sa stage? Isusukat pa kunyari sa'yo. Bagay na bagay, bro. Tignan mo. It looks good on you. Congratulations. O, picture mo na. Bababain ka na ng stage. No? Pero ikaw, hawak-hawak mo yung t-shirt. Sayang. Sana. Grand prize sana eh. Pero, sige, okay na rin to. Tapos, ito na. Inannounce na kung ano yung grand prize. Usually, hindi ina-announce, di ba? So, ito na. Nagbubunot na. Ito na yung pinakahuling premyo. The grand prize for the night. All expense paid trip to Boracay for two, three days, two nights. At bumunot sila. At ang nakuhang pangalan, yung office mate mo na delinquente. Ito yung pinaka-late dumating at pinaka-unang umuuwi. Tapos siya rin yung talagang yung coffee break ninyong 15 minutes sa kanya, 45 minutes. 15 minutes siya magtitimpla ng kape, 30 minutes siya maikipagkwentuhan. Tapos wala siyang naa-accomplish na trabaho. No? Tapos, kung magmura siya habang nagkikwentuhan yung mga kaopisina ninyo, malutong pa sa chicharon. Tapos maikita mo siya yung nanalo ng grand prize. Samantalang ikaw, na uma-attend ng feast at pinipilit magbakabait at magbago ang nakuha mo t-shirt. Titignan mo siya. Tapos makikita mo habang umaakyat sa stage, nagmumura-mura pa. Sabi ko na nga ba, para sa akin talaga ito eh. Ano bang ikaw parang, Lord, bakit siya? Bakit ganun? Bakit? Ako t-shirt lang. ba And you see, my dear friends, that is just an example and that is similar to the gospel for today. So let's read the gospel from Matthew chapter 20, verse 1 to 7. For the kingdom of heaven is like the landowner who went out early one morning to hire workers for his vineyard. He agreed to pay the normal daily wage and sent them out to work. At 9 o'clock in the morning, he was passing through the marketplace and saw some people standing around doing nothing. So he hired them, telling them he would pay them whatever was right at the end of the day. 
So they went to work in the vineyard at so they went to work at the vineyard at noon and again at three o'clock. He did the same thing at five o'clock that afternoon. He was in town again and saw some people standing around. He asked them, "Why haven't you been working today?" And they replied, "Because no one hired us." The landowner told them, "Then go out and join the others in my vineyard." Now, if we're going to look at that story, the master got five groups of workers. No, limang grupo. The first one was early in the morning, which is around six, di ba? And then he went out again at nine, and then at noon, and then he went again. At three o'clock in the afternoon, and then the last one was at five, and the work ends at six. And he decided to pay them at the end of the day. Let's continue reading the the verse. That evening, he told the foreman to call the workers in and pay them, beginning with the last workers first. When those hired at five o'clock. Were paid. Each received a full day's wage. When those hired first came to get their pay, they assumed that they will receive more, but they too were paid a day's wage. When they received their pay, they protested to the owner. Those who worked only one hour, and yet you paid them just as much as you paid us, who worked all day in the scorching heat. So imagine. Unang pinosweldo, no? Unang pinosweldo yung mga huling dumating. No? Ikaw nagtatrabaho, ikaw imagine mo ikaw yung nandoon sa last sa first group which came in at 6 o'clock in the morning, no? At 5:30 gising ka na papunta ka na sa trabaho. You're going to work in the vineyard. So 6 o'clock trabaho na kayo. By 9 o'clock may dumating na second batch. By the time na dumating yung second batch, tatlong oras ka nang nagtatrabaho. Imagine, pawisang ka na kung nandung ka sa vineyard. By that time, by noon, yung second batch, ay, dugyot na dugyot ka na. Pero trabaho ka pa rin. Di ba? Okay lang. Trabaho eh. Ito yung napagkasunduan eh. And then, dumating yung last batch. Dumating 5 o'clock. Ang tapos ng trabaho, alas 6. So, itong mga to, yung huling dumating, malamang hindi pa pinapawisan si sweldo na. So ngayon, ito yung feeling mo parang teka, sandali lang. Mas matagal ako nagtrabaho. So base dun sa oras ng trabaho, kung itong mga to sinwelduhan ng ganun, malamang mas malaki yung akin. So let's continue reading the verse. When they received their pay, they protested to the owner. Those who work only one hour and yet you paid them just as much as you paid us who work all day in the scorching heat. And he answered one of them, "Friend, I haven't been unfair. Didn't you agree to work all day for the usual wage? Take your money and go. I wanted to pay this last worker the same as you. Is it against the law for me to do what I want with my money? Should you be jealous because I am kind to others?" So those who are last now will be first, and those who are first will be last. Pagtitingnan natin, di ba? In the normal course of things, ang iisipin mo, teka sandale. Una ako ng nagtrabaho, mas malamang malaki yung sasawuring ko, di ba? Kasi huling pinasahod ay unang pinasahod yung mga huling dumating. So hindi malayong isipin mo 'yon. But if we review the text. Ayun. For the kingdom of heaven is like this. Ayun. Let's let's skip that part. Let's go to He agreed. Ayun. He agreed to pay the normal daily wage and sent them out to work. 'Yun yung first batch. In fact, doon lang siya sa first batch nagkaroon ng agreement. He said, 
I will pay the normal daily wage and send them out to work. The next batches, this is what he said. And I changed the font color so we can see clearly. So he hired them, telling them he would pay them whatever was right at the end of the day. He did not say, I will give you what is the normal wage. He said, I will give you what is right at the end of the day. Now, this worker is working not on the normal 12 hours. We're already thinking, no? baka most probably, ma ang matatanggap natin ay mas konti kaysa dun sa nauna. Kasi late tayong dumating eh. But if we're going to look at it based on the logic of man, that is the right thing. But based on the logic of God, that is not right. He knows what he wants to give. And he will give based on the goodness of his heart, not on the goodness of ours. That's why those who came in last still received the same full wage. And he told th those who came first, wala ka namang kailangang iangal. Kasi, nung dumating ka, binigay ko naman sa'yo yung napagkasunduan natin. Diba? Hindi naman kita niloko. Nung dumating ka, yan na yung napagkasunduan natin. Pero nung nakita mo at nagkumpara ka dun sa mga huling dumating, doon nagkaroon ng problema. And isn't it similar, my dear brothers and sisters? Sometimes in our life, we prayed for something. No? May pinagdasal ka, tapos binigay yan ni Lord sa'yo. Nung binigay sa'yo ni Lord, tuwang-tuwa ka. Kasi yun naman yung pinagdasal mo eh. Lord, sana pagka-graduate ko, makahanap agad ako ng trabaho. Sana yung kahit five digits lang po ang starting, okay na rin. Huwag lang sanang four. At least five digits, Lord. No? And the Lord gave you a five-digit salary. And you are happy with your work. Let's concretize it para mas maita natin yung example. Binigyan ka ng five-digit na sweldo. Let's say sumisweldo ka ng 30,000 a month. And then nakausap mo yung kabatch mo. Nagkakwentuhan kayo. Ito yung kabatch mo na school bukol. Ikaw masipag kang mag-aral. Tapos naikwento niya, ay dito akong nagtatrabaho. It's an international firm. Tapos casually tinanong mo, talaga? Kamusta bang starting dyan? Naghahanap ako na malilipatan eh. Okay naman dito pero maliit yung starting. Tapos sinabi niya yung sweldo niya. Sabi niya, ay dito ang starting pray ano, 50. Bigla ka nga yung napaano. Ha? 50? Tapos nung mag-isa ka na, bigla kang mapapaisip, Lord, bakit ganun? Diba? Bakit naman mas malaki yung sweldo niya sa akin? Nag-uumpisa ka ng mainggit. Nakikita mo na yung mga, yung mga pangit sa company ninyo. Bakit? Kasi nagkumpara ka eh. Pero pag titignan mo, binigay naman ni Lord yung pinagdasal mo. You paid for a five-digit salary. Hindi mo in-specify kung magkano. The Lord gave you what you asked for. And then you're complaining. Because you compared. Same with the gospel. di ba? Binigay naman eh. If you work 12 hours, I'll give the normal day's wage. And the Lord did. It so happened that those who work less received the same normal wage. And now they are complaining. My dear brothers and sisters, you know, I think God blesses people in front of us to train our hearts to trust in His goodness even when it's not obvious. God places the blessings in front of us to train our hearts to trust in His goodness. Even when it's not obvious. Diba? Kasi minsan parang akala mo walang blessing eh. Or akala mo sinor change ka ni Lord. Pero ang totoo, exacto yung binigay niya sa'yo. Ang problema, kinumpara mo. And if we think clearly, my dear brothers and sisters, don't get what you deserve. Get what grace delivers. Why should you not 
get what you deserve. Imagine of all the things that you have done. Lahat ng mga kasalanan na nagawa mo nun, lahat ng mga kapalpakan mo, if you are going to get what you deserve, you might not be even where you are now. Pag ako pagtitignan ko yung buhay ko, sabi ko, if God gave me what I deserved before I met Him, ang gulo siguro ng buhay ko ngayon. Kasi ang gulo ng buhay ko nun eh. Nung high school ako, pasumuno ako ng aguluhan sa klase namin eh. If some of my teachers are watching right now, they can testify. Ayan si Isidoro, ay oo naman. Nakagraduate siya because God's grace delivers. Di ba? Matalino sana, pero bulakbul eh. Panay kalukohan. So if God gave me what I deserve then, disaster buhay ko ngayon. And if you are still with me, my dear brothers and sisters, Can you type in the comment section, grace? Sige nga, type natin yung grace. Because we believe that God's grace delivers. Sige, type natin grace. Let's do it. Let's type grace in the comment section. Thank you for those who are typing. We'll be talking about grace more again and again for, for all throughout this, this talk for tonight. Thank you for those who are typing. I believe God's grace is with you right now. Now, if God gives you the grace, my suggestion is take the grace and go. Take the grace and go. Why take the grace and go? Because if you take the grace and stay and linger for a few minutes and then start to compare it with other people who are receiving their grace, ang mangyayari sa'yo, magkukumpara ka. At pag nagkumpara ka, ayan, nakwento ko na kanina. Ganun yung mangyayari eh. Magkukumpare ka, maiinis ka dahil feeling mo, madaya si Lord. Pero ang totoo, mabait pa nga siya eh. Kasi kung binigay niya sa'yo yung what you deserve, most probably, magkakaproblema ka. Let me tell you a story of, of our life as a couple. Lyra and I, we've been married for nine years already. And for the last nine years, we were trying to have our own child. Nung nag-umpisa kami, bago pa lang po kami ikasal, nag-undergo po ako ng isang clinical study. It was a new drug that was supposed to go out in the markets. Pero bago siya i-release, kailangan muna siyang testing in. At isa po ako sa mga naging volunteers or yung tinatawag nating part ng clinical study. So, habang nagki-clinical study yung gamot, sinabihan na kami ng doktor, huwag muna kayong mag-baby dahil testing stage yung gamot. In fact, bago po ako mag-take nung first dose ko, or yung orientation for the study, hindi pa kami kasal. We were two weeks before getting married nung umatend ako ng orientation. And one of the doctors even said, once na mabigyan ka nung gamot, we discourage you from having a child. Kasi hindi natin alam yung side effect. Kahit na hindi yung wife mo ang i-injectionan nung gamot, kahit na ikaw yung i-injectionan, baka magkaroon ng side effect dahil yung gamot ay biologic. So, kung gusto ninyo, try nyo nang makabuo kahit na hindi pa kayo kasal. Total, in two weeks time, ikakasal na naman kayo, di ba? And you know, my dear brothers and sisters, hearing that suggestion, was so difficult. Kasi parang, it sounds so right coming from a doctor. But listening to the voice of the Lord, we knew it was wrong. Mali yan eh. Diba? Sex is an act that should be done by a married couple. With the blessing of the Lord. Kaya, kahit na delikado, kahit na hindi pa tayo pwedeng mag-baby for the next two years, sige lang, wag na lang muna. 
and we forego the thoughts na wala, wala tayong gagawin. Hintayin na natin matapos yung first two years. After the first two years, okay naman po yung effect sa akin ng gamot. Pero they decided to extend the clinical study for another three years. So all in all, five years. Although in between the three years extension, sabi nila sa amin, pwede nyo nang subukan. Kasi mukhang less risk kapag yung lalaki ang naggagamot. Dahil meron tayong isang patient from another hospital or another clinical study site who is of the same case. Nabuntis yung wife niya, healthy yung baby nila. So excited kami, ito na. Baka pwede. Try natin. But in the process of trying, hindi pa rin po. Wala pa rin. Wala pa rin. And me and my wife, even before we got married, we were already serving the Lord. If you are going to compare us to the workers in the vineyard, andun kami sa first batch. Six o'clock pa lang ng umaga. By the time we got married, kung compare kami sa workers, kami mga dugyot na talaga. Kasi teenagers pa lang kami, nagsiserve na kami. And yet, the one thing that we prayed for, we cannot have. It was so heartbreaking. Especially for my wife. Iba siya yung excited eh. Excited siyang maging mommy. Excited siyang magkaroon ng baby. Tapos hindi kami nakakabuo. And to make things a little bit more, let's say, mas masakit, kahit na ayaw mo namang i-compare. Nung nagsuserve po kami sa FISB Kutan, before we went to WFFA, nung nasa FISB Kutan kami, kami po ang head ng couples ministry. Kami yung unang-unang head. And we headed the couples light group. Doon sa unang light group namin, tatlo kami, apat kaming young couples, lahat kami walang baby. Tapos nagka-baby yung isa, okay, nag-maternity leave, so nawala. Yung pangalawa, na inasign namin, nag-break away na, naging, naging head na rin sila ng sarili nilang light group, so naghiwalay na kami. Eventually, nagka-baby na rin sila. So, dalawa na lang yung naiwan na walang baby. So, parang, at least hindi mo masyadong nararamdaman kasi wala na dun sa grupo eh. Until we had the most recent light group that we had in Fisby Kutan. For some reason, pito kaming couples dun. Dun sa pitong couples na yon apat po sa kanila ang buntis ng sabay-sabay. At dun sa tatlong hindi buntis, kami at dalawa pang mag-asawa, medyo yung isang couple, lolo't lola na. Yung isa naman, pwede nang maging lolo at lola kasi malalaki na yung anak nila. So eventually talagang hindi na sila magkakaanak pa. Kasi papunta na nga sila sa magiging lolo't lola eh. So, Nagiintay na sila ng apo, di ba? So parang yung feeling, ando na naman na parang, Lord, bakit ganun? Bakit? Bakit? Parang ang sakit. Di ba? Nagsuserve naman kami. Pero bakit yung kaisa-isa ang hinihingi namin, hindi mo maibigay? And it did not end there. My wife, Lyra, is the eldest sa kanilang magkakapatid. So kami yung unang kinasal, tapos eventually, every two years, may kinakasal. So, kinasal kami. After two years, kinasal si Belden. After two years, si Bea, yung kapat- mga kapatid niya. After another two years, si Vernon. No? Nihintay na lang po namin yung bunso si Everett. Pero, after nun, unti-unti na rin nagkakaroon ng baby. Si Belden ang unang nagka-baby. So, happy, may isa ng bata. No? Yung panganay, wala pa rin. Nung pandemic, nagka-baby si na Mike tsaka si Bea. Yung sumunod niyang kapatid, si Bea. So, pag nagkikita-kita kami, tatlo yung bata sa family. Si Lyra yung panganay, pero siya pa rin yung walang baby. But you see, my dear brothers and sisters, sometimes, 
Seniority means sacrifice. Seniority means sacrifice. Kahit na panganay siya at wala siyang anak, pinapakita niya sa mga kapatid niya, masaya siya dun sa mga kapatid niya. Nung nasa LG po kami, kami yung head eh. Kami yung nauna sa vineyard. So, ibig sabihin, kami yung senior. ba? Diba? Pero, never naming pinaramdam dun sa mga ka-LG namin na nalulungkot kami. When they were happy announcing the good news, we were happy for them. We tried to be happy. We forced ourselves. Kahit na somewhere inside there's a pinch that hurts, sinasabi namin, magsaya tayo dahil masaya sila. Magsaya tayo. Huwag nating i-compare yung sarili natin. Because if you are the senior, dapat ikaw talaga yung maunang magpakitang natutuwa ka. And eventually, you will tell yourself, don't get what you deserve. Get, get what grace delivers. ba? Diba? Matuwa ka para sa kanila. And get what grace delivers. Ano ba yung binigay sa atin ng grace? Para sa aming mag-asawa, we decided to get what grace delivered. Maybe not a biological child for us to say that we have a family. Dahil kami namang mag-asawa, with or without a child, kami ay isang pamilya. And to all the couples out there who are watching, kung wala pa pa kayong anak, tandaan po ninyo, kayong mag-asawa na pinagsama ng Panginoon, pamilya na po kayo. Huwag niyo iisipin hindi kayo kumpleto. Naalala ko nga, sinabi ng isang pare, ang bata, kapag nawalan ng magulang, ang tawag natin ulila. Pero, ang magulang na nawala, na, na nawala ng anak, wala naman tayong tawag. Kapag ang anak naglayas, hindi natin sinasabing nawasak yung pamilya. Pero pag isa dun sa mag-asawa ang umalis, sinasabi natin, nawasak na tahanan. Nasira ang pamilya. Bakit? Dahil kayong dalawa, pamilya na kayo. Kaya kaming mag-asawa, naniniwala kami, with or without a child, we are already a family. And we are taking what God delivers. And God continued to deliver. God delivered our WFFA family. Ito po yung pamilya namin. Long before the pandemic, ito po yung picture ni Lyra with most of our music ministers. Long before, even when we were serving in Fisbikutan, pamilya na po namin ang WFFA. And me on my part, the youth ministry became my children. Sila yung aking anak. Ayan. And they would even give me their own nickname. Ang tawag nila sa akin, si Daddy Oy. Yan po yung mga youth ko sa Bikutan. And here is a picture of me way back in 2020 before the pandemic. Hindi pa po ako feast builder ng WFFA during that time. I was just invited to give a talk to the youth ministry of WFFA. Hindi ko naman alam bakit nila ako in-invite the day before my birthday. Yung pala pinagpaplanuhan nila ako at ayan po may pakik sila sa akin. At lahat ng mga umatend ng talk ko noon, sana umatend pa rin kayo ngayon. ba? Diba? Ako na official ang daddy oying ninyo eh. So I am excited to be your daddy. Balik na kayo dito, attend na kayo ulit, namimiss ko kayo eh. ba? Diba? Come back. Why? Because you are the grace that God delivered. My dear brothers and sisters, ang dami na namin pinagdaan ng mag-asawa kung saan-saan na po kami nakapag-serve, tinala kami dito sa WFFA. And we believe that this is where God delivered the grace. WFFA is now our family, 
our spiritual family. May not be biological, but we will always treat you like our children and we will watch over your welfare. It may be difficult, but we know this is what God wants for us. And what God wants for us will always be the best. Remember, if you try to get what you deserve, your life might be in disaster because what you deserve might not be the best. But if you take what comes from the grace of the Lord, you know that that is the one which is best for you. My dear brothers and sisters, as I end my story, hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin po kaming anak and we're still praying for it. And I would like to ask you to continue to pray with us. Pray for me, pray for my wife. But hopefully someday. And please continue to pray for WFFA, our spiritual family. You know? Pray for us to grow big. We invite you, join us every Wednesday. Be with us here. We want everyone to trust in the grace that flowed from his cross. Trust in the grace that flowed from his cross. Why? Because that grace is the best for you. You may think you don't deserve it, but knowing that it came from the heart of the Lord, that is what's best for you. Even if you don't feel it right now, he knows, and he knows what you deserve and what you need. We invite everyone to pray with me. All together in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, thank you for your grace. We may not get what we think we deserve, but we are sure what your grace gives. It is what's best for ours, for our hearts, Lord God. It is what is best for our current situation. Our vision may be limited, but not yours. And you can see what we will be needing in the future. And your grace will supply every need, even in times of uncertainty. And all this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, I invite you, let's continue to worship the Lord.
Thank you, Lord God. Thank you. Thank you, Christ, my Savior, for setting me free. Now, before we continue, can I just invite everyone? Let's have a minute of silence. I don't want to say this at the start of the talk, but a good friend of mine, Father Mike Laguardia, passed away yesterday. He is my mentor. He's my good friend. He was my professor in fundamental theology and became a good friend afterwards. Let's just spend a minute of silence to pray for his soul. Thank you for joining me in praying for Father Mikey. If it's your first time to attend, we would love to welcome you. No? Meron po tayong link sa baba. Anjan po, just click it. All the first timers, we would love to see you, welcome you, get to know you. Ayan. So, punta lang po kayo doon. May mga servants po tayong nag intay sa inyo. And then I would like to invite everyone after this feast, immediately after, meron po tayong after party. So it's our after party, after the feast, immediately. The link is there. We will have fun, games, and interaction. So ito pa rin po, extension to ng feast natin. This is a chance for all of us to, to know more about all the co-servants, and all those who are attending WFFA. So, masaya ito, may mga games, may prizes. So, punta po kayo, just click the link, and join us in our after party. Okay? Next announcement, on August 14, will be our first real talk. It's our online gathering. It will be every second and fourth Saturday at 8 p.m. So ano po yung meron sa Real Talk? Nabanggit ko to last week. Uulitin ko po para sa mga hindi na arinig ng announcement. We will have sharing. We will read the gospel for the coming Sunday. I will give my reflection. I will invite one sharer who will give his or her sharing. And then immediately after, we'll have our breakout rooms so we can get to be connected with one another. That's why here in WFFA, we believe love connects. So we need to be connected. That's the reason why we will have our real talk. And then before we end, I would encourage you all to continue giving your love offering. Tuloy-tuloy lang po natin yung pagbigay. Ang inyong pagbibigay ang sumusuporta sa ating ministry. What you give supports what we are doing here. That's why we can continue doing this kahit na nag-ECQ, nag-ilang ECQ na gagawa pa rin po natin. Why? Because there are people who are supporting us. So we do encourage you to please continue send in your support, send your love offering and your tithes. There are several ways for you to be able to give. Let's flash that on the screen so that they can see. Ayan po. Ayan lahat ng mga ways for you to be able to give. Now, each and every format there has a step-by-step -step instruction 
if you go directly to Feast at Home webpage, our WFFA FB page. So, punta lang po kayo doon sa aming Facebook page. Andan po yung step-by-step instructions on how you can give kung first time ninyong magbibigay. And I also encourage everyone to join our I Give Club. The I Give Club is our group for those who want to continue to pledge despite giving their love offering on top of their love offering, mag-pledge kayo ng 1,000 pesos every month lang naman. So, pwede kayong magbigay ng 1,000. Yung iba, ginagawa nila, binibigla nila. I remember some servants before, pagkakuha ng 13th month pay nila, ibibigay na nila ng buo. Yung, yung buong 12,000 for, for the whole year. That way, hindi na nila iintindihin. Yung iba naman, nagbigay ng post-dated checks, pwede rin po. Or kung gusto nyo the usual na ibibigay ninyo sa I Give monthly, pwede. I Give supports what we are doing to help our servants naman. Diyan po kinukuha yung para sa formation natin. Before the pandemic, na pag retreat yung mga servants natin, binibigyan natin ng regular formation. Ngayon po, ganun pa rin. Binibigyan pa rin natin sila ng formation. So, doon po mapupunta yung pera ang binibigay ninyo sa ating I Give Club. So I hope you can continue and join the I Give Club. And my dear brothers and sisters, for all those who shared and like our stream, thank you very much. Please continue to do that. Please continue to follow our page. Please continue to share all the contents of WFFA Facebook page. We will appreciate what you are doing. You will become an instrument of God's blessing and message to all the people who needs to hear God's message. Again, I am Brother Oying, Fist Builder of WFFA, and I'll see you all at the after party. Bye! See you all next week. And at the after party, just click the link below. Thank you!